presentation from Gear Innovative International School, Bangalore, Karnataka. For the jury, it's page number 52. Science, which studies the brain, 
we have diversion thinking, these are the hands on sense classes, diversion thinking classes. We have academies where selected children take up advanced work like uh, uh, Raman Cub Inventors Academy, Ramanujan Mathological Academy, Biotech Academy, ITech Academy. This happens once a week. Uh, we had a Nobel laureate as a parent who was surprised to see the last page of our school brochure which says we are interested in producing Nobel laureates and Nobel and champs. That's what we are working on. Team based worksheets, these are hands on activities. I come to the laws, we very much believe in innovations. We have an iPad lab for Juni children which got Punjab Government Award. So, we are one of the top 10 schools in Asset Score. These are the scores for the last five years. And we very much believe in, in, uh, in children being educated, whatever they are educated in the context of a culture which is abstracted to values by themselves. Thank you very much for my five minutes plus. Questions from the uh, You have mentioned that you are organizing visits to the industries. Uh, first of all, what is the basic purpose of that? What do you think we, the students See, are gaining out of The children study a machine the whole year. Part of that project, they have architects coming and teaching machine drawing, visiting a place where a lot of machines are being manufactured and used. <coughs> this is part of a CAP project. CAP is site annual project. Do we have some of these kind of software available to your students in the school? Like uh, CAD, the uh, of the CAD and uh, something similar? Actually, Same we are same. trying to uh, install Autodesk, which will be done this academic year. Mm -hmm. And uh, these visits are very regular? What is it? It is regular. It has, it has, every child goes, when they come to 8th standard, they go to a machine. In the 5th standard, they go to a wood museum. Mm -hmm. In 7th in standard, they go to Andaman um, uh, Cellular Jail. It's like that. It's planned like that every year. Is it a CBSC school? Yes, ma'am. Achha. And um, do you have, how old is the school? We are about, uh, uh, as a CBSC school, 7 years, as a school, 15 years. So, about 7 batches have passed out? Yeah, but uh, 12 standard, 3 batches have passed out. See, so, do you have any idea about, so how many <coughs> science students have passed out by now? Plus two is only science, maybe about 100, because our batch is very small, about 30, about 100 students must have passed out. Roughly. And what is the fee? We, we charge between 50 and 60 thousand per year. So who supports it financially? It's self supporting. But with that much of money, with all the labs and all mm -hmm. the technology, you have any way of printing currency? No, actually, again, it's a question of matter of time, how to manage the finance of a school. Capital expenses don't come from parents. Running expenses, we can... So, where does the capital expense come from? You see, it is my passion. I invested my money into the school. Now, the school is running on its own. So, it's your own school? Yes. So, what do you think, since we are talking about the future readiness, what is the future readiness of your school? See, when, when I talked about fair... Uh, no, 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 my question is quite different. It's a it's a school which you own, right? Yes, yes, yes. And but when I own, it's a trust. It's not. It's, it's, I, my passion I created. I don't uh, have the school in my hands. It is a trust. So it will run forever. So it doesn't depend on me. So you have other people. Who yes, it's a trust. It's a public trust. Equally innovative. innovative. Yes, 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 yes. Because right now I got different levels of teachers. Because I have person. heard you into creativity long, long ago. I don't know if you remember visiting DPS. Yes, yes, I, I, I did come and spend some time. There. Yes, but the fact still remains, which is quite a puzzle. The you know supporting a school which is so capital intensive in technology. By the way, since this is a conference for principals, and we're all here to learn, uh, connected with education. So, how did you sort of finance your school? See. Uh, I'll have to tell a bit of my history, otherwise it, you won't understand. Again, everything has a context. I had my second life in Mulchand Hospital in Delhi. That time we decided I would do something for the children of the country, which gave me the second life. And I have invested my entire saving, though I was abroad for 10 years, into this school. 
Now I understand. That is my mission. So, uh, would you like to spread all your technology that you have? Very much. I am very keen. I don't go and impose myself on anybody, but anybody comes to me, I, I welcome with open arms and tell them, teach them, guide them. Thank you. Thank you. I think the biggest value which you are interpreting in your students is the last line which you said that I don't impose myself on my students. I think the, the biggest value can be that. Right. I have some questions yes, uh, regarding uh, when you say that we are an open and transparent school. That is one line written here. True. So I would want you to uh, explain that. What See, do you mean by all that? All the policies we make is made after the parents understand what it is and only with the view of how it would benefit the children. It's not for my sake or for the teacher's sake or for anything else. If it is good for the child, it is in. If it is not good for the child, it is not in. Whatever may be the compulsion. And in the process, most of the parents are involved. For example, we wanted to establish iPad lab. We took us three months consulting the parents, how it should be done, how, who should be part of it, should we have the iPads at home? Then we came to the conclusion that it should be kept in the school, it should be school property as a lab. So we went ahead with that. It was not my decision, though I was very keen to introduce a kind of program developed by us to teach mathematics to children of second, third, and fourth standard. This iPad lab is to teach mathematics. This was created by a group of parents, and the program runs in 11 schools in states and one school in India. And our children do two years advanced mathematics because the program is created with our advice. And sir, uh, thanks, uh, thanks for answering. And then two more questions. Yes, One is that why did you choose Andaman uh, Cellular Jail? See, when you have a CAP project and a child studies a machine throughout the year, when the child studies a place, he needs to understand that. We also have a four grand topics evolution. That's not mentioned here. Evolution, freedom fighting, uh, freedom, uh, freedom struggle, um, technology, and uh, epic. Okay, this is each class. That's it. Part of freedom struggle, I take a standard students to understand, to realize what it meant to become a free country. What all you say, it doesn't. Uh, uh, it doesn't uh, mean so much. When I ask a child, how do you feel coming out of that place? Nobody came out alive. You are lucky to come out of that small place where people used to be hanged. That kind of feeling, you can't create unless you make them see that. So it's also a kind of interesting journey. You go by road, you go by train, and you go by ship, and then you fly, and you spend some time in Andaman. Like you say, value or centricity, you cannot create values without experience. Experience doesn't come within the four walls. So if you want to give an experience of machine, if you want to give an experience of freedom struggle or a tree, you have to go to that particular place where experience is part of your journey. And third and the last question. Yes, sir. Another question is a comment. The first line says the mathematics enjoyable. And I personally have been a witness. I was a student of chemistry, biology, and my father used to personally teach me very entertaining methods. And I used to take a lot of enjoy. And that's how I went ahead physics, chemistry, biology. I ended up in law, that's a different story. But then here you have said only mathematics. Yeah. Is that really Because we are talking of STEM. See, possibly people believe only mathematics to be tough for some. They don't talk of science like that. In my school, every single child enjoys mathematics and that is because of a multiple intelligences framework. That's what I try to say. See, nobody says English is difficult. Nobody says some are scared of English. There's no English phobia. But mathematics, about 20-30% of children are petrified. Which is not in our case. That's what I'm trying to emphasize. My students have been the chemistry are the most boring subjects for the students because don't take interest in that. Unless you make that really enjoyable, children don't very, take interest in It is in very it. true. Yes. Until unless you make every single subject enjoyable, they don't learn the subject, they may mug up. Okay? So that is given. 
what happens is mathematics is a very special subject when it comes to children being afraid of. It is a very vital subject. So what I am trying to say is mathematics is important for life and, and every child should enjoy and there are ways and means, multiple intelligence is one of the ways. Um, there is a small question, yes. a query rather. Uh, the name of the school, Gear Innovative International School. So, what does Gear in this case mean? Gear stands for Gifted Education and Research. Okay. Innovative because we have hundreds of innovations. If you permit me, I like to give an example. See, chess is normally an individual game. One plays with the other. You would not have heard of a team playing with other team. But in our school, there are ways of making teams play against other. We have got a huge board fixed on the wall. They make one move a day. So one house proposes a move, the other house gets ready with the move and comes and moves it the next day. So the whole group of children of that class discuss and then they come and move. So that becomes a different kind of a, a dynamics. So like if you have got hundreds of innovations for science, for mathematics, for, for basketball, you will have at least about 100 which can be patented, which I have not done, that's a different course. Okay, that's wonderful. Another uh, small next question about the alumni, that of your school you have a small batch, Yeah. but uh, to what colleges they have gone and... See, I, I was done. about, I was tempted to answer one of the questions, uh, ma'am was asking how many have gone and taken engineering? Maybe about 50, 60 percent tend to take engineering. Okay. What I would personally say is, I don't mind one person takes or hundred percent takes. Every single child who takes up engineering should do an excellent job of an engineer. Yes. Not become a person yes. who is fit for nothing. Yes. That is my aim. And in, in general, they take about 50, 60 percent go to engineering. Three or four have gone to medicine. One has taken up choreography. They go into various fields and that's what I want them to do. One is producing music. I'm happy with that. Okay. What's the spirit behind calling it international school? Well, when I started in 95, <coughs> the word international was not that much use or misuse. Yes. I meant, I meant, I was truly an international school in spirit. In the way I do, my children go to any world, country in the world and it will be okay for them. I meant that way, not affiliated to IB. But now, even a small garage school calls it some international school. I'm caught in that web. I just can't help it. That's all. That's all. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. What a good talking to you. Thanks a lot, sir. Uh, <coughs> we go on to our next category, our next presentation.